In this video, I will show how to add a um, device to Splinks, how to add CPE and use TR69 ACS to manage it. Uh, first of all, uh, let's check where the TR69 or ACS is located. It's under networking in Splinks. If I click there on the dashboard, uh, it shows me how many devices I have, active devices and the types of uh, devices. Then when I click on the list, it shows me four devices that were already connected. Some of them are still connected to Splinks. You see a status online, online today and offline. And um, also I have a configuration available on the config. I can just type ACS and there it will show me if we use SSL. Uh, in this case, I don't use SSL for communication. Uh, this is our um, username and password that um, CP will use to connect to Splinks. I put Splinks, Splinks. And then if I scroll down, it shows me where is my CWMP located. And this URL will be used for, uh, for connection of, from the CPE device, or I can use this URL, um, or I can use the private IP because I have a, a private IP network there. And then we have another uh, more settings that we use we will use for provisioning. So if I want to connect my router, let's connect to this Mikrotik. And uh, first of all, we must install TR69. We enable it. And as you can see, uh, there is an IP address available. So we I can copy that and just paste it here. Set up splinks, splinks. Let's check if this IP is also reachable. Tools pink. Yes, it is reachable. And I click enable. And this is my periodic and inform interval. Um, by default, we set it, I think, to one hour, but I can change it, for example, for five minutes. And uh, click enable, apply. And as soon as this uh, TR69 client is connected, we will get, I uh, see, incorrect splings incorrect password it says as soon as it is connected it will show me that there is a connection request username which is used to connect from splings to the device and also this device will appear immediately under my networking tr69 device list so if i click refresh there here it is so we can see that the device was uh, connected we see the software version and uh, we can click on the device and assign it to customer. So it takes some time to get the IP, to get all the information from the device. And I think it's a question of few minutes when all the uh, tabs will appear there. So here we have uh, available information showing that uh, there is a PPP which is disabled. Um, Ethernet IPOE service, then we have LAN with uh, DHCP server and uh, Wi-Fi, NAT and activity. So what we can do, we can assign this device to a customer. So for example, we, we can check uh, some of our clients that are active, uh, Allen. So for example, let's assign it to Allen. And also we can say that if Allen has an internet service active, we can uh, assigned to the internet service. Let's try different clients that has some, some internet services. So I see that these clients do not have anything. But we can choose George Bush, for example, it has 10 max service. So let's go back to my CP, to my networking, to my TR69 devices, click on that and assign it to Josh. Bush and 10 megabit internet service. If voice, we also can select voice. Why we are selecting this? Because we can use the attributes that we configure inside service for provisioning of the device. For example, PPPOE, username and password. So that's when we configure this, we can upgrade the device. So to upgrade the device, we need to prepare the XML file. So this is the XML file where I put URL to download uh, the package of Mikrotik and also the TR69 client or TR69 package of, of Mikrotik. It's called Mikrotik 649.3. And when I do my uh, send file, 
So I have already this file prepared there. I upload it to Splinks. And then when I click there and send it, it will send the file to uh, Mikrotik router and it will upgrade it. So as we can see, this router will be disconnected now and it will upgrade from 648.2 to 649 version. Another option how to upgrade device, I can go to my devices, select one or many devices and then click action upgrade and it will ask me for a file that I'm going to send to, uh, for example, this file, file I will send it to Mikrotik or TP-Link or Huawei or any other equipment and it will upgrade uh, the device for me. So now we have just to wait when a device will connect and will grab um, the command if it's not reachable. If it's reachable, so then Splinks is able to reach the device directly and send the command there. So as I see, there is an error that shows us some kind of the message uh, from ACS. Actually, the problem here is that I had no space uh, to on Mikrotik router, not enough space to upload uh, the new uh, router OS package. Um, but when I fix it uh, and then send it back, everything works fine. So now the router is restarting and we'll see uh, if the new version was there already. So if I refresh and when it will connect back, it will show me uh, the correct router OS version. So here we see that it was already updated. So if I click on Mikrotik, we already reconnected 649.3. And also the way how to troubleshoot uh, ACS server, if you want to see these messages and uh, in a more detailed way, you can also open Splinks on the port 3000. So this will give you the Genie ACS access that we work as a backend solution and it shows you defaults and it shows you all the devices and faults of the devices. Uh, so when your device is uh, ready to work and con uh, configured or pre-configured, you can provision. And in the next video, I will be explaining how to provision device. Thank you for your time.